Hi, my name is Kirill. I'm a software engineer in C++ Unreal Engine team in Microsoft. And today I'm gonna tell you about native support of Unreal Engine projects in Visual Studio that we implemented. For the demonstration, I will create a small Unreal Engine project from third person game template. Let me set a name like my TPS proj, okay. If you worked with Unreal Engine before, then you probably know that the usual workflow required frequent switching between Unreal Editor and Visual Studio. For example, when I want to add a new C++ class like character, I need a ref to refresh a Visual Studio solution after it, then switch to Visual Studio window, reload the solution there, and only then I can start coding again. Now. With native support for Unreal, project, Unreal Engine projects in VS, it is not needed. And let me show you how it works. Yeah, I will switch to Visual Studio. So instead of opening a generated solution, we will simply open the project as a folder. There is a button, open a local folder. I will navigate to where my project is, just a second. Yeah, so in fact, you don't need a solution file at all. You might not even have it. So we open it just as a folder, not as a solution. Visual Studio detects that this is an Unreal Engine project and does some magic under the hood. You can see the output here from Unreal Build Tool and other components. And let's take a look what we have. Uh, on the right in Solution Explorer, there are folders and files from engine source code and from our project. So we can work with both engine and game. This view on the right is customizable, so we can select from a few presets that define what exactly folders and paths will be displayed in Solution Explorer and indexed by IntelliSense. And if these presets are not enough for you, you can tailor them using a configuration file if you need. And also here on this configuration page, you can add targets for a project. Let's scroll down, yes, here. You can add any combination of target, configuration, and platform. So once you select something, click Add, and you can see it appears in the list. Uh, then you can add some more. Let's do it. Yeah, like this. Add, and uh, we click Generate Targets, and Unreal Build Tool is executed and does the job. We just need to wait a little bit. And finally, once it's done, you can, you can see and switch targets using the drop-down boxes on the toolbar, depending on what we'd like to debug or to switch into the sense context. So that's how it works. So uh, same as with solutions, you can build the whole project from Visual Studio using Build Menu, but also in Solution Explorer, uh, you can build a single target by right-clicking on the target file yeah, like this, it, it calls Unreal Build Tool and does the job. Also, you can uh, build a single source file. There is a menu item for this. Uh, also, you can build a single module. Let's look for some more. Yeah, here you can build a single module. And uh, finally, you can build a single plugin. So if you find some plugin here in the source tree, like yeah, gameplay, there is a function to build the Unreal Engine plugin. And there is a new nice thing in the context menu of tabs. There is an item to compile all open files. That also could be useful. So now let's go to a feature that I personally like the most. If you need to add a new Unreal Engine class, module or plugin, you don't need to switch to Unreal Editor. You just do it directly from Visual Studio. Go here, add new Unreal Engine item. And let's add a class, for instance. Yeah, click on here, add. And here you can see all the same templates that we have in Unreal, Unreal Editor. Let's select character. Yeah, I will set the name. Oops, yeah. And you can select a module where to would like to add this class. We have only one. Yeah, and uh, it's done. And you can see on the right, yeah, you can see on the right, new header file and new source file, and their content, content comes from the template. Okay, if you add a module, 
you can yeah uh, you uh, we add a module same way add a new unreal engine item let's add a module you, we can select module type here all the same options that we have in unreal editor module loading fa phase let's click ok and now you can see it's not only the source and header files are there now they are as expected but also the module is registered in the project descriptor so if we open this new project file you can see our new module here so it's fully automated and very easy to use what else good features do we have for example yeah let's open header files and let me add some malform declaration of the u property as you may know, such macro are handled not by C++ language preprocessor, but the, uh, by Unreal Header tool. And you can see it's highlighted as a error. Unknown specifier, blah blah, found while parsing variable specifiers. This happens because now Unreal Header tool is integrated into background code analysis. Uh, so, uh, if of course, if you prefer not to run it in the background, you can run it manually uh, inside the project menu. Yeah, you can scan all open files, scan currently open file, or do such analysis for the whole project. Let's continue with background code analysis and improved IntelliSense. Visual Studio can parse Unreal Engine asset files and blueprints and use them for IntelliSense and references. For example, here uh, inside the class we have uh, yes this member, and uh, you, you see a hint that change in one blueprint. If we click on it, we can see the blueprint name and the asset file path from where it comes. So let's double click on it, and uh, yeah, we can see all the properties of this asset. They are usually scanned when you open the project and stored in the cache. And if you change something externally, you can always go to menu and ask Visual Studio to rescan asset files. Now, one more useful thing. It's the toolbar specifically dedicated to Unreal Engine tools. It's here on the left. Uh, one of the items on it is a drop-down box that allows us to attach to Unreal Engine process for debugging. Let me start Unreal editor with our project and yeah we'll start a game in it just a second so yeah it works yeah it works uh, now I will switch back to Visual Studio and here in drop-down box we see running process of Unreal Editor with our project project so we can attach to it for debugging just in one click and here you can see one more useful thing it's a special window for displaying logs from Unreal Engine. It catches the output and processes it in, in real time. You can see logs from Unreal Editor, uh, also from engine modules, like you can see here for log audio mi mi mixer and so on. And by using drop downs on top of this window, we can filter logs by the process, categories, verbosity, save it to file, whatever you want. Okay, and uh, here are a few more fresh features. Uh, go to project menu and now you can cook project content directly from Visual Studio and package the project too, so no need to switch to Unreal Editor to do it. Uh, yeah, we have to select the configuration, just yeah, configuration. Let's select Windows, for example, and press the button and Unreal Automation tool will do all the, all the things. Once it's done, uh, we can package the project for a specific target and platform. Yeah, like development. Uh -huh. It also takes some time. Let's keep waiting. Yeah, so now packaging successful and we can try to run the game as a standalone application without an editor. Let's go to binaries folder, find our executable. Here it is. Yeah, let's start it. Yeah, it works. It works. And last but not least, thanks for the integration tool. Uh, we have a test adapter, so Visual Studio can discover tests from Unreal Project and you can work with them in a test explorer. 
you can see the list of the tests, you can run it, you can see the results. So I think it's a very convenient thing to use. That's all for today. I hope it was interesting and will be useful for you. There is one more important feature for Unreal Engine developers that we have, a Blueprints debugger. But this feature is so cool that we have another demo about it made by my colleague and I recommend watching it. Thanks.